It's early in Final Four week, and Michigan State coach Tom Izzo is drawing up his game plan for a national semifinal game against Butler. For two days this week, the Associated Press got an exclusive inside look at Izzo as Michigan State's winningest basketball coach prepared for the Bulldogs. This will be Izzo's sixth appearance in the Final Four, and each time the preparations seem to get more difficult. I think there gets to be more things on your plate, you know, you just get more accustomed to handling them. But there does get to be more media, there gets to be more obligations, and uh, but you have your routine down, and the routine is kind of handled by the AD and your administrative people, your secretaries, and, and they've sure made it a lot easier on me. Despite his success, Izzo is still the approachable guy from Iron Mountain, Michigan. Thanks, appreciate it. But it comes at a price, especially this time of year, as Izzo's window-filled office on campus becomes a goldfish bowl. So the coach and his staff prepare for Butler at a nearby hotel and conference center. There, they pour over game tape, look at stat sheets, and draw up plays. My office is a little different. 90% of the time, that's good, but this week, it's, it's just not quite as good. So. We uh, try to handle it in a different way, and we tried something we haven't tried before. At least I got a good four hours of work in. A four-time National Coach of the Year, Izzo is making his sixth trip to the Final Four in 12 years, a feat that only UCLA's John Wooden and Duke's Mike Krzyzewski have achieved. You know, it's funny because it, it, it doesn't really sink in right now, um, which it shouldn't, uh, but it is pretty uh, exciting because there's a lot of people, when you look at the Bobby Knights that I've always idolized and I've always uh, thought a lot of. So it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. And yet it's something I sure won't think about for hopefully another 10 years or so. Having arrived back on campus, the talk turns to his next opponent, the 32-4 and Butler Bulldogs. Up front, they're a very good team with a couple guys in that team that I think are pro-type players. And I, uh, I look at it as... Um, They've won 25 games in a row. You're probably the, uh, the darling of the country because you are the, um, the team that people think came from nowhere, even though they've been a top 10 team all year long. Thank God, I think our players have great respect for them and what they do. Um, so we'll just go from there and see what we can do. A win over Butler Saturday, and the Spartans will play for their second national title under Izzo. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.